So I'm out here on this service call for this York package unit here. It's a heat pump system. Um, <clears throat> the complaint was the thing is just crazy noisy. Um, they could hear it like downstairs really bad. Apparently they can hear it. Hear it from out on the street is what they're saying. Um, I got up here and it was in a call for heat. <clears throat> I just kind of quickly went to see if I had any fault codes right here on the little display screen. I don't have any but I do have a pretty big history of condenser coil sensors uh, going out. Uh, looks like they've been written up a few times and replaced a few times. Uh, if you guys watch my videos, you've seen me write it up multiple times on other York package units. Uh, there's like a little condensing coil sensor uh, or condenser coil sensor right, right down in this corner. So if you take this whole panel off, it's right down there. Um, and that's sensing the coil temperature that helped put this thing into defrost. Um, they were having a lot of issues with those going out. Um, and when they do go out, these things are turning, they turn into just big blocks of ice out here. I've been out to a few where it's encased so bad that the blade is literally hitting, uh, hitting ice and the motor is just, you know, bending the, or the motor is getting really a lot of extra wear and tear on it and the blades are just getting all bent up from basically chipping away at ice and cutting their way through ice all day. Um, so that is just knowing the history of that. And now that I've gotten up here, it's probably kind of hard to see and maybe even hear through the video, but this thing is just shaking like pretty intense. Um, like the little bracketry I can see going on all over just shaking like crazy. What I think has happened is most likely when this got written up, it wasn't iced up as bad as it probably had gotten. Uh, most likely these things had iced up really bad to the point these blades were just chipping away at ice and probably bent the blades. And I could pretty much bet that when this condenser coil sensor got swapped out the couple times it's happened, um, they didn't do anything with addressing the blades or the motors. Um, so with that being said, I am definitely going to write up new condenser motor fan blades for both of these um, just because they're shaking just so horribly and I'm probably gonna end up tightening up all these bolts just with this extra shaking I know it's probably put a lot of wear and tear just on anything that's fastening them down I'm sure it's kind of rattled a little loose on a lot of this stuff um, so that's one thing that I'm gonna be writing up for sure on this um, and then the next thing is I was just since I'm out here I was checking this belt and I can see that the belt has been rubbing quite a bit. You know, you got a little uh, belt kind of dust. And also just looking at this belt, I could tell when it was running, but it's it's super, super loose. Um, I usually will check for, for grooves on the, the sh motor shiv and everything, but that didn't have any grooves on it. So uh, it might just be slightly out of alignment and that's what's doing that extra wear on the belt. Um, but I am definitely gonna be writing up the, a new belt. Uh, I'll probably make some adjustments here. Uh, it's actually pretty, pretty easy to kind of build a lot of it in. You can kind of loosen up some of these bolts and then adjust it up or down to tighten or loosen the tension. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy deal they kind of set it up with. Um, but like I said, I think it might be just slightly out of alignment. So I'll take a look at all that. Um, but yeah, so there's a few things on this one. Um, now that I got this off, I'll probably just kind of further inspect these blades. I'm not seeing anything crazy noticeable. That's probably why they haven't been written up yet. Um, but yeah, that, that thing was just shaking like crazy. So, um, that's pretty much where I'm at with this. Um, yeah. I can't really think of much more on, on the noise. Like I said, I couldn't really get it to recreate. I'm probably gonna try to cycle it into a, a defrost cycle as well, just to kind of make sure. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where it's at. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.